In this tutorial, we're going to look at a way that we can use the Notes app on iPad to create a quick worksheet style fact file resource that can be easily shared with students. I'm going to go into Notes and as you can see, I have a folder here that I have created that has all of my digital skills work in it. If I wanted to create a folder, I can tap on Folders in the top corner. I can go down to the bottom and I can tap new folder. I can make it a smart folder which works with tags or I can simply make a new folder. If you're working with multiple iPads shared amongst children and you don't have shared iPad enabled, it might be an idea to have each child create a folder for their work. However, I'm just going to keep this as digital skills. When I'm down the bottom here, you can see that I have different tags that I've created as well. So. What I'm going to do is in my digital skills folder, you can see I've already got an earth style fact file that I might want to share with students. But we're working on a space topic, for example, so we're going to create one all about Mars. So let's tap in the top corner under the battery icon, the new compose. I'm going to choose full screen. I'm going to tap on the hide keyboard option and I'm going to choose markup. Now I'm just going to keep my pen as is, tapping on the pen I can change the thickness, I might go with the fourth out of the choices and I'm going to draw a circle. Now notes is quite intuitive, if I hold my finger at the end or my pencil it will automatically create a circle shape for me. Using two fingers I can pan up and down, I'm going to make my pen tool just a little bit smaller now and I'm going to draw a line that goes down the middle, stops, I can make it a bit thicker if I wish, take it down there, that looks fine, I'm going to take this one across here, join them up, and I'm going to take a third one out here. So what I've created is almost like a cross section space that I'm going to put in some detail. I know that if I take an arch and I join these two together, Holding my pen at the end, takes a couple of goes, holding my finger at the end, there we go, do the same here, perfect, now I might do just a thinner one, to maybe show the crust, and this could be something that as the teacher I'm doing at various points for a lesson or a topic. With this being on my iPad, I can have this done while sitting doing some work, sitting in the staff room, sitting doing my normal resource time. The beauty of it is it's not only an anytime, anywhere learning device, but it's an anytime, anywhere productivity device. I'm going to take out this center section here. and I'm just going to put in a couple of other options just to create the center core of the planet. Okay, looking good so far. Now I want, might want to create some labels, so I'm going to take my finger and tap on the three dots. You can see there's a few options I could draw with my finger. I can switch that off if I'm using a stylus. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose my ruler tool. I'm going to take a point from here, wrong one, tap undo. I'm going to draw a point from here outwards and I'm going to put a line there, that's fine. And I'm going to put an arrow. I could do this in a couple of ways. Draw the line using the ruler or I can just draw it freehand. So I might just draw it freehand. There we go. And the third one. Okay, so I have my three points and I'll use my ruler to give an indication that I would like something put in for each of these three points. Tap my ruler again to get rid of it. If I want to add in a bit more detail, I'm going to put a little dot here. Circle, there we go. That adds a bit of detail. So, that's 
roughly ready to go. Give it a bit of detail or maybe want the students to colour in. They could colour in as I airdrop this to them. There's no fill tool, so it is very much just an option of create as you go. Okay. Now if I take my finger, or my two fingers, and I swipe down, you can see it gives me the option for a suggested title. So I'm going to tap edit, and I'm going to choose the name Mars Fact File. Perfect. Now I have a few options here. I can tap my three dots and I can send a copy, which means I can then airdrop it, or I could save it as an image to use elsewhere. That could be inserted into a Pages document. I could put it into Teams, I could put it into OneDrive, I can airdrop it, I can do any of the export options that I need. But Notes is a lot more than just a place to jot down ideas or jot down thoughts. You can actually create the starting points of the reference that the children would need as they're using it within class. So give it a go, create a template fact file that you might want to share with students, drop us a, a, a tweet sharing some of your options using the hashtag DigiLearnChat or reach out to the team at DigiLearnScott for any questions or queries you might have as to how you can take this further.